Summertime is a really lovely film. This is a 1955 film directed by David Lean. It's written by H.E. Bates and David Lean, based on the original play The Time of the Cuckoo by author uh, Arthur Lorenz. And the reason I watched this is because it stars Catherine Hepburn. I'm becoming quite a big Catherine Hepburn fan and she's definitely the star of the show. We do have obviously supporting characters and supporting cast, but everything's about her character. And she plays a character called Jane Hudson, and IMDb's description just describes her as a, an American spinster. And I think that basically sums her up perfectly. And after years of saving, she's finally making her way to Venice. And it becomes very apparent that everybody else is coupled off and everybody's having a romantic time in Italy. And she's on her own. But she does meet an individual. Uh, a man called Renato, played by Rosanna Brazzi, and they have a kind of, I want to say, on-off romantic relationship. It's not just they, you know, they have eyes for each other and suddenly their romance blossoms. There are problems and pitfalls, often revolving around Jane's character. Renato is very keen. He's very, very eager. Um, Jane is a bit more reserved. She's a bit more cautious, but sometimes she leads with her heart, sometimes with her head, and it makes it very unpredictable. But in a way, that's very pleasing from a narrative perspective. We also have a character who I absolutely want to discuss, um, called Maro, um, played by Gitano Otiero. And he's about, I don't know if his age was mentioned in the film, it might have been and I missed it, but he's about 10 years old. He's a little boy and he's um, described as a street urchin and um, kind of keeps getting in Jane's way, but in a way that she kind of likes. She almost dotes on him at certain points. But there's one scene where, this is a tiny spoiler, no, it doesn't spoil the narrative at all, but I'm going to mention just something very briefly. And she gives him a cigarette to give to his grandfather because he asks her for money initially. And she says no. And he says, could you at least give me a cigarette for my grandfather? And she does. She walks away and it cuts back to Maro and he is smoking this cigarette and it's just so uncomfortable seeing this 10-ish little boy smoking this cigarette and I'm pretty sure if this film was created today they wouldn't even get away with doing that I don't know um but certainly it was awkward I'm not really a big fan of kind of romance films I mean rom-coms yes but I wouldn't describe this um necessarily as a rom-com I don't know IMDb labels it as a comedy a drama and a romance and I think it is a slightly more dramatic rom-com but certainly there are funny moments in it um, but it's more it's more on the romantic side and the dramatic side and it was actually nominated for two Oscars nominated for best actress for Catherine Hepburn and best director for David Lean it didn't win either um, but I, I don't think that matters too much in terms of the enjoyment of the film because I think it is absolutely stunning. The architecture, the scenery, it's breathtakingly beautiful. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much of it is filmed in Venice. Um, certainly a large proportion of it is. I don't know if any of the interior scenes were filmed elsewhere. There is an interesting tidbit of trivia on IMDb, which I'm obviously taking it with a pinch of salt. I don't know exactly how correct this is. But there's a certain scene... Um, it's in the trailer, but I won't describe it, but something happens to Catherine Hepburn's character and her eye actually became infected in real life and apparently this infection persisted for the, the rest of her life, which was a good 50-something years after this. So um, anybody who says acting isn't a dangerous job clearly hasn't uh, read about Catherine Hepburn. But I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It gets a little bit mushy romantic at one point, which I'm not a big fan of. But generally speaking, I love the progression of the film. I love the narrative. I love the character of Jane. I love the scenery. The setting was just gorgeous. And the only other thing I want to discuss now is a tiny spoiler. I'm going to discuss the ending. So normally I don't discuss the endings of films, but just the way it was shot, I absolutely adored and I hadn't expected. So at the end of the film, big spoiler of course, when she's on the train and she's waving, it was just beautiful. It was gorgeously shot, stunningly done. I mean, I'm a big fan of trains anyway, so I rather enjoyed that aspect of it. But just the waving and the fact that her wave got bigger and wider as she was getting further into the distance. And it was just gorgeous. It was really beautiful. And I just thought that's not the ending that I, I had predicted for the film. 
but it's certainly the ending that I was happy with. Really enjoyed it. Summertime might be one of my favourite Catherine Hepburn films now. I still have quite a few to go, but really enjoyed it. Definitely one that's worth a watch.